Okay, so what if you want to have some text at the top and at the bottom of these circles? Well, let's start out by duplicating the existing one and pasting a copy in exactly the same spot. So if you jump to the selection tool, you can, by the way, now see the import and the output at the bottom here. And not as visible on this QuickTime movie probably is the center bracket that you've got sitting in the center of the text here. But first things first, let's copy that edit copy and paste in place and that will drop an exact copy on top of this. Now how do I now rotate this text so that it sits at the bottom? I'm going to grab this center bracket and just rotate the whole lot down as you can see and just release it in the middle here and the text will sit at the bottom. Now the only problem that's wrong with it, it sits on the outside of the circle still. We want to flip it to the inside. And again, once again, do that using your center bracket. You can see that little icon again so you know you've got hold of it. Then click and drag and move your cursor to the inside of the circle. And that's where your text will sit properly. Now to make sure that both of those lines of text are perfectly centered on the path, click drag with your selection tool around both circles to ensure that both of them are selected. It's a bit difficult to see other than that you see double the amount of center brackets and in and out ports. And then from the type menu, select the type on a path options. And what I want to do now is change the alignment to center. And as soon as I do that, you can see that that text is now centered around the path. You can work with some other effects as well, but I'll leave that up to you to play with it. You've also got this flip function to sort of use to flip the position of your text. We'll click OK and there you have it.